She has a short illness. illness, short form for Tarat. Uh, hey, short. Uh, hey, Marie, short illness. Short illness. Uh, what? Oh, I'm big here. Right? Yeah. To Mutu Kwali, you know what I'm big at here. But you wish them a safe journey. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You wish them a safe journey. Everyone has a prize here. Yeah, what now? You were here going, fuck the institution, and then call your phone. Eat her. Shh. In revenge, I'm going to be angry as well anything on the Shabby Shit episode. Because never did I join Nigeria, but I was very fair, I understand. Ah, shit. Tracker. And I can't barely skip on. No, as in, it's come out, then. Retrieve my daughter. You know, people watch too many movies when I go, ne? This no. thing of, people even think they know how to throw a fist. <laughs> Tracker. How? Shitter. <laughs> Took a shit up. <laughs> you know been when, saying that since you got here. <laughs> when, I, when I heard you saying it during the episode, I thought you had Tourette's. Because I was like, Uti, mind you, Sol, you're one less disease. I was like, why are you saying tracker shit at the same time? How does that even make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Thanks to Shabby Shit. <laughs> you didn't know him. He didn't know Shabby Shit. I didn't know so. him. Wow. In fact, when I sat here, I asked if this is the exact same Shabby Shit. Because I wanted to bring it to Mr. Stos. How <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> 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 Tracker what, what was inside that backpack? I mean, I'm interested because I watched the episode and I was like, mm. oh, good question. None of us asked him. And Why? Why is it everywhere? No, I think it's style. I mean, it's style. There's nothing in there. Okay, guys, officially have to start the show, ne? Yeah. Which button is it? Spewe. Spewe. Layers two. All four at the same time. Drop the fucking thing of your... Oh. Tweka. <laughs> so you fully. Shit. So you fully got Tweka. So why are you going to go to Miami? Because the reason why I'm here is because Mac is in Miami. It's a booking for Mac. They booked Mac. I'm not going to go to Miami. But you told me when you're off. When? You're off. <laughs> yeah, I'm off. I'm the... Totally off. I'm the... Nee, nee. Kaya. I'm probably the one... <laughs> Who takes the most offs? Ekayagin. Ekayagin. <laughs> Hold on. So they would have allowed you to take a day off. Would you have your crew no Mac? It's work. It's, it's work. It's work. And also for the booking, like it's money. It's work. So for those who don't know, how does it work on radio? Do you get normal leave days like your teacher? No, on radio it's contract, so you get oh. paid per hour. You invoice and you get paid per hour. No work, no pay. You're a contractor. So if there's a, an opportunity, such as a gig, you obviously will go there because mathematically it makes sense. Yeah, but what about the audiences? What about the listeners that that's know that the, you are there every that's morning? That's why I try not to take leave. Sometimes it's not even a money conversation. It's a, I know the feeling of your favorite person on radio. Yeah. Not, you wake up and they're not there or you're driving back home and you're like, oh. and you're like, oh. And I used to feel like that when Fresh was absent for his shows. And I was like, damn. Now you've just ruined my day. You're absent. You're not there. So, yeah, I try not to. And that's the thing about radio, you know. It's a relationship with the listener. So you try not to be off. Yeah. Mm. Last you, week. Mm. Were you off last week? Yeah. Uh, was I off last week? Spewe. You know. Eugene? Groove a song. Was I off last week? Shift a bit. Go when, this way. So when there's a stand-in when we are, we are back on? Like I hit last week, Caesar began here because there were some days where Caesar was not there. Yes. And when I'm not there, Caesar will be there with somebody else. Oh, so at least one of you has to be there. Yeah, if both of us, if one of us is available. So, you, you sit properly. Hi, bo. You let choose. I'm sure you're going to You're not going to feel like you're going to come in. I'm saying. Yeah? Oh, we're going to come in when you're going to come in. You're going to try to kill us all, no? You're going to try to kill us all. Like that, yes. Ooh, I can't, you're going to try to kill us all. Yeah, I think I'm you know, disturbing uh, Yeah, you're the one who's messed up this whole thing. You used to sit here. Man, you kill her. You flat her to do it. I'm going to kill her. Dude, you're welcome to come and talk. I'm going to talk to you. 
open flat air, Lamar. Yeah, I'm not going to have a tandem flat air. I remember I said, I remember I said, it's the aircon. Mm. Yeah. So, yeah. Or the, le- or the leg oh. thereof. Yes. In what she's a I don't know. Hey, you want fake Hey, So that means they're not fake then. If I mean, <laughs> no, yeah. like, yeah, what yeah, are the chances true. you're fighting about fake Covella and then you get a short illness and pass on just like that? Shame, man. May soul rest in peace. I don't know about too cool. Short illness. Short yeah, the short illness. illness is short form for Tarad. Hey, uh, short, uh, hey, Marie, short illness. Short illness. Uh, why the bell, though? <laughs> I just felt oh, like Oh, I heard a bell. Mm. <laughs> Any Shame, t- man. Anytime is tea time. Man, you to pay. So when you hear the bell, that's the fact checker's bell. Yeah, that's fact checker. Okay, that's fact. Oh, yeah. Belina. Um, the person who passed away is um, Gog Matom- Matambo, who was the presenter Gog for... Gog Matambo. It just says Yes, he's the one who was presenting um the Maja Love TV. Yeah, but fake over. Like, yes. Didn't he have two TV shows on that station? Um no, it's only just one. the one, yes. So his job was to bust our Kobela be fake? Yes, that was his job. So how did he do that? How, how do you bust Umunto Sevens and Moya Ubutu Moya Waka or see Fundy One? I guess it's because there's people who'd complain, Amato Asana, who would write to him stating that the Gobella has faked them or faked the calling or something oh. like that. And then he would come to just the situation. So about whistleblower, about Amato Yes. About whistleblower. Yes. <laughs> 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 no, 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 and then Sukumatambo would go undercover True. to pretend that he's a Twasan. It's not undercover. Basically, Confrontation. They, would, they would sit down and confront the Gobela and want to know more of the Twasan as if there's, if there's only one Twasana yeah. or more, more of them who are complaining about the same situation. So they would go to the Gobela, yeah. try to figure out how much money did they launder from them because all of this, basically, it's mainly about money laundering. Yeah. You make a person twice when they do not have a calling, and no. then yeah. But how do we know that a person does not have a calling? You're about to lay calling you if I'm the forex for me. I can't really see the thing that you are trading in. I have to believe that it's there. I'm a forex trader. Mm-hmm. They just show you a screen. They show you trends up and yeah, down. Up. Graphs and yeah, so no. Now my time They say no more uti aba pants bati. So how do I pass you to fake? Now that's my thing. And if you die from a short illness, then clearly then. We know not fake. Yeah, it one maybe wasn't fake. Yes. Yeah. So money. how so how does he prove that they're fake? Fake T. That's your new name. <laughs> <laughs> fake T. <laughs> that's true. That's a valid question though. How would Honestly, you prove? I'm not sure. Maybe because he was also a sangoma, they might have done something behind the scenes of Oglasha Matambo and consulting with the ancestors before approaching. Oh, to say Guti. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. This is me thumb sucking at the moment. Yeah. Also, oh, you is sang on my cell. Yeah, yes, I go on my thumb. No, but if you're, a, I'm sure there's a way. If you you are a legit sang of telling a fake one. Yeah, but DJs do that all the like time. Like you're a comedian, you know when a guy, bro, you're not a comedian. Get off stage, kind of no, thing. No, no, I, I don't do that. But you know, you wouldn't do that because you're a nice guy. But deep down, your eyes would die. I hear easily. Oh, Who are you thinking about, Eugene? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, us. Uh, Who should get off stage? Coco Matambo. So Coco Matambo is now Coco Moya. Yeah. Ish, ish. <laughs> so now, Vele, Vele. Ish. Well, technically, still, we'll be eventually go back to being Coco Matambo. Yeah, <laughs> get it? Hi, <laughs> <laughs> right, man, guys, it's not right, man. <laughs> Aye, man, guys, it's not right, man. Show me you, man. Show me you, guys, man. Rest in peace, guys, man. Hi, man. I find I find it so weird. No, it's a well wish. It's not a confirmation of the person who's dead that they're resting in peace, but you wish they are. It's like Why? Saying, it's like saying, Uhambe Gaki. Right? Yeah. To Mundo Kwali. You know what ah, so you I wish know. them a safe journey. Ah. Yeah, well, you wish them a safe journey. But you see. Oh, okay. Then you're sitting there. Yes, 
So you see, each other you cheat then the Oh, so yes. basically it's just you're just being polite. Rest in peace, yes. Yeah, you're just being polite. Yes. 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 Yeah, I'm not saying but we hope. So imagine my Sarah Moya, Sarah Bamba, Yimpama, Imimoya, Laban Berata, will fake Gobel. That would be for months on end. In young inning. What's that? Going on and on. What's that? In there, in there. I'm not going to say, I mean, you know, Pelagna like ranks. You know, there's people who are like more powerful than others. And I'm thinking, as someone who is doing this as a toller of fake gorillas, <laughs> you, you are powerful. You know what I mean? I'm assuming you're powerful because you can't send out someone who's dumber than the criminals to go catch the criminals. You need someone who's brilliant. Exactly. For example, like, yeah. Give us an example of someone who's smarter than the people that they're catching out. Uh, la, 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 la. These guys do cyber crimes. You know what I mean? If you're going to catch a hacker, surely you need to be smarter than the hackers yeah, but to guess, find their ways. But, but those do it's, like, it's, like, it's like with the rent manipulation thing. The yeah. reason those guys get away with it is because the guys in regulation and compliance aren't the sharpest in the industry. The sharpest guys always get poached by the private sector mm -hmm. to go work for the bank. No, I don't believe that. Oh, look at the lawyers. Look at lawyers and prosecutors and lawyers... You'll find the sharpest mind in the legal fraternity there. Ha! Gerinel, perfect example. Gerinel mm. was a public prosecutor. Mm. Very sharp, mm. smartest guy. Mm. And then Every Forum was like, no, we'll put him on retainer. Mm. Now he's out of the public service in a sense, because he works for Afri Forum. But you've just almost proven my point uh, without me saying it. What? I don't think there's dumb people that work in these institutions. I Not think everyone has a price. Yes, and yeah. the smartest guys don't survive because these institutions don't have the no, resources. No, the honest guys don't survive. The honest guys don't survive. Anyone has a price. Everyone has a price here. Everyone. Now you are here going, fuck the institution, and then call your phone. Eta? Shh. 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 Four o'clock. Yes. Shh. <laughs> and it's true, no, it's but true. But the first it's example true, you made, so. You made the, you the, the, the example about the cyber security, yes. Yes. like hackers. Yes. For instance, how many times are hackers, end up, they end up being employed in those um, institutions because it's like, oh, you were able to get into our system, please come and help us. Yes, you Bamba know? Yes. yes. Yeah, Bamba Naiman. Yes. The, so, thing, the thing here is about money. Mm -hmm. So remember mm -hmm. that this investigation here and manipulation has been going on for eight years now. And there's over 28 banks, I think, that are involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite, a lot, quite a lot. Yeah, but yeah, only, on, only two yeah. have come up. Five or only two. Standard Charter has been uh, fined, and it. Yes. And then Standard Charter agreed to testify against all the other banks that they yes, were involved with. I think with. five have. Or, ne? Yeah, but more than two. Yeah. Yes. True. And there's a link between the Standard Charter and the Standard Bank because Standard Charter was started in South Africa in the 1800s, mm. and then they left all of their assets to Standard Bank, I think, in the 1980s. <laughs> so I might be wrong. Fact is, on check it. Labanga sue in jail. But Oxalai, what I'm saying is, if you pay enough people, you'll be okay. Crime does not happen if there's no bribes involved. And you're going to state capture. You realize the bribe is not the same for everyone. Because only one bribing a five million, only one bribing a bribe pack. No, that's so. So it's like, remember even with Gold Mafia, the guy probably got 20,000, but he yes. was pushing payments as of hundreds of millions. It's yeah, such fin, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. It's like, like yes. dude, you, you, it's getting paid to yes. pay. Yes. So the thing is with bribes is the people that you are bribing must never talk to each other. Yes. Yeah, well, like a, a radio station. Yes. The staff never talks to each other about how much they're earning. Because yeah. once you find out, yeah. you yeah. call I mean, come on. Now four o'clock is like, mm -mm, I'm easy. I'll be there. Quarter to six. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Twerka, shit. <laughs> but what do you make of it, bro? As this um, rent manipulation thing? I think the implications, we're still going to feel them far, far beyond the years that are coming. Uh, you heard Mus now, Guti, um, there's more people who can't afford to pay their homes anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Record yeah. number of people who can't afford to pay their homes anymore. God. And remember that when we came out of COVID, they said the most people that have financed homes were black women. Mm. Yes. Right? Yes. So, a record number that usually people keep a house, ne? like standard number, I mean, is about 13 years on a 22 or 20-year bond. Yeah. Now it's reduced to two years. Oh. 
We were like, I can't do this anymore. Hmm. So what does it tell you about what's been going on now with the rent manipulation thing? So Tina, we take things lightly. Napa, they say the eggs. Then say, I believe, oh, eggs. But they're quiet. Yeah, now the egg thing is quiet now. Now they're warning us in advance. They're saying chicken in December. Eh? Yo. They say, watch out, chickens. Because remember those eggs? They were supposed to be what? Mm. They were, oh. Now we're like, oh, a new crisis. They're like, yeah, chicken is going to be expensive, guys. The most affordable protein next to eggs. Yeah. Is chicken. Bruh. And you've just told us, warned us in advance. Good, yeah, ne? We're getting fucked with Eugene. Yeah, so I think I think the young black poultry farmers will not survive this next uh, mm. couple of months or even a year. Because if you got rid of your stock, Samakanda, so clearly you don't have enough chickens now. And you don't have enough chickens to supply the demand exactly. that you'll have. Yes. So suppliers, or I mean, your customers will run out of patience with you mm. and they'll go back where to the big suppliers where they were in the first place. Mm. So small-scale poultry farmers are the ones that are being tried to be eradicated out of this. That's why you yeah, never. Yeah, that's why like you'll never me. see a baker in the township. We consume the most bread, but there's no baker in the township. Why though? Ah, uh, maybe there's like one every yeah. township. Yes, but we co- yeah, we consume the most bread. Maga, why is that Albani there? They'll have a billboard of a black kid Bro. with two pom poms ah. in the boardroom. Yeah, yeah. all the time. Ah. Yeah. Uh. Yes, they have billboard there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, they're gonna be drama. A first corner, it's a Benz. Ah, you like, you like, yeah. You like in that t- show me one bakery there. Show me one from that company that is invested in the same neighborhood that has been El Pani, yeah, or, or EP. Blue Ribbon. Yeah, where's the bakery? So the bread has to come from where? And we're the biggest consumers of this thing. Yeah, but so I'm like, Tina, we're wor- right? yeah, we, we're worried about wrong things. The thing that is happening here is eradicating small black businesses out of the market. Poultry is a huge so are you saying this whole chicken thing? This egg thing was bit. designed to eradicate because I've seen there's a, a number of a lot of small poultry farmers. In yeah. fact, one of uh, the, the ladies on um, on Kaya, yeah. she's a radio presenter, Angie. has got a chicken farm. No, Angie, it's oh, cow. Angie's cattle. Oh, Angie, cattle. Yes, yes, yes. She's got a chicken farm. Yeah. And I've seen even on Twitter, you've seen so many of them, you know, because you'd see them, especially now with the load shedding, they're going to go... My chickens are dying. Yeah, because right? now you can't hatch the eggs. Yes, yes, yes. You can't yes. keep them warm. You can't grow them fast enough. Yes, fast I forgot enough. the... Because they need sunlight. Sun, yeah. Yes, exactly. Mm. Broiler so, eggs. Broiler chickens. Broilers. <laughs> yes, the broilers are not working. So, I, it's not No, the broilers fixed. are not working at ESCOM. But the broilers are type of chickens. Yes. The broilers are type... Yeah, how, do, the, how do they make them? The broiler chickens. Yes. So you constantly keep the lights light on. on. So they don't know What's if it's night place where, okay. What do you call it, that place? A chicken coop. Oh, the chicken yes. ah, but I think it's a it's a mega yeah, one. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, chicken you. run, yaga, yaga oh, chicken run. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, okay, cool. In the chicken coop. Yeah, they would say go to in cuckoo's I was there for. Yeah, because there's no light. It's not far fetched then. Damn. It's not and I'm thinking it was just for money to Wow, well, that's also another byproduct I, of this whole thing. And I remember that we've price. just come out of Leah price rigging, price manipulation, yes, in Kwangit, where there was collusion I between the big I bakeries. I, I think I remember something like that. Yes. Where there was collusion yes. between yes. the big bakeries. Yes. 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 But if you live in the suburbs, you understand, Guti, the big brands, the Sinkwa, we don't consume them in the suburbs. And I say we because I include myself there. Mm. So when you go to the W shop, you see their own brand of bread there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. When you yeah, but it's only when you are going down the, the value chain that you start seeing at a garage, you will see all the big brands. Yes, mm. yes, yes, at, a, at a shop right, you'll see all the big mm. But at checkers, you don't really necessarily have to see it. Because mm. now you're faced with Chabata, mm. Sawado. Then you're like, why am I going here? Exactly. It's only when you see the bread that we consume next to other types of bread that almost cost the same but are healthier <laughs> that you realize that something is wrong with this thing. Something here. is off, man. Yeah. Right? So it's yeah. Chabata Tina is funny. Like, you never drive into a township and see a billboard, yeah? Then there's ciabatta bread. Why? Never. Olive bread. Tina, we don't eat that. Sourdough. But when we're sitting there having our meetings at Nickel Way. We do. I've never heard someone saying, so how would you like your toast? Do you like Albani? <laughs> Blue Ribbon! <laughs> All of us. <laughs> mm. It shows which we know better. But the old lady Maliti bring bread with Zanan. The Albani. No, no, but... Who's your man? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There's a 5,000. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that kind of dough, yeah. bro. Ah. 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 Ah
speak greatness unto yourself. Mm. Yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, what? But you are saying you five thousand. But said more like not. So ngasa, ngasa. I have introduced her to fam. Like ripe bread. Sasha, la la pa Sasha, la singo Sasha. Now you made it awkward when the celebration must introduce. Why you should not You're opening a swimming pool now. You're like, now you follow. Who's in the report? I put this in my. Wait, wait. Did you make it awkward when you brought the bread? No, you know what I did, right? Tell us. You feel it. Ngasika. Wait. Ngasika bread. How many loaves did you bring? Yeah. One. Yeah, one. Because you can't buy two. Ten thousand already. Yeah. I'm telling you, one ngasika. Shit. Track. So what about oh this new bread? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. It's taking a while. Okay, sharp. But sangakio. How many days? Yeah. Sangakio like sangakina. What's the alternative? Yes, that's the, oh, my question. Was mm. there another bread? Yeah, but who's in the Alpine? Ah, ah, ah. Because you are so pale. And they sacrifice not eating bread. I'm in a mutom nyama. Aye, that's my thing. In a black family. Aye, so no matter. Ah, so no matter. You know what, something else. Okay, you know what, guys? It wasn't family. It wasn't family. It was, it was my woman. She didn't like it. And as soon as she looked at the normal bread, like, I will. Be it from W or be it uh, 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 Albani, yes. mm. low GI, the normal brain. Oh. So, who are those guys? So, I want to lap, but okay, cool. No, my gangs were with family. Uso tell you, plural, but it's what he. No, I'm not testing. I'm never in Scalel. Sasala. Yabo, Mata is single single. Yeah, because I want something different now. Yeah, but I need to now. You must also understand. Once you start going into those breads, you have to also have a couture month, Zako, and a pefrici. Yabo. Ama? Things that go with it. The okay. condiments. The condiments. Yes. You know, no condiments. Yeah. So if if for example, la every chin, we ne palon ne acha. And when I was in a shop, bata. We ne find the right bread. The right bread. The right bread. Right bread with acha. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe that's my problem. Maybe. But when I do the bread, they eat bata. Number one. So when I eat bata. So when. Every chin, I come with one. Like. The usual stuff at Kelly's Fridge. Wait, even even the lettuce, iceberg lettuce, I have a line that is in quest to Rayabo. Hm. Put a watercress, the other into into Josotic and Nan Ut, Necheda, I say, Benz. For the I'm an open face sandwich. I want to, I'm a closed. Officially, Totonga Parag. I think the question is, so how many cheeses do you know? How many? Cheese. cheese, yeah. How many cheese, like types pepper, of cheeses? Yes. Do you know? Yo, my name, man, I'm a cheese, guys. Mm. Yeah, when it was you. Oh, nah. It was you? Yeah. yeah. Ah, Joe, I'm a coconzola. Yes. Uh-huh. I'm a cheddar. Uh-huh. I'm a colder. Uh-huh. I'm a conalena. I'm a feta. Yeah. I'm a feta. I'm a yazi. I'm a cheese. I'm a pizza. Yeah? Mozzarella. Yeah, mozzarella, obviously. I'm a pizza. I'm a pizza. I'm a pizza. I'm a blue cheese. Kona goat cheese. Goat cheese, yeah. Kona ya stina lese ya ne. Yeah, kona ya stina lese ya. It's a kokonzola. Yeah, it's under. It's in the flavor. In the. You eat kokonzola at your house? Yo, in the flavor. Mada ya stina. Oh, but I believe you, because when you the one who brought sourdough. Yeah. Yes. So it made you have to prefer the cheddar. Yes. Make a order. Because the stima has bam bam. Yeah. Ah, my woman prefers whatever cheese is there. She'll try it. Gune, 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 gune. Still tin. Gune, kuna lena man. Hey, pe. Oh man. You cook it. Inja, inja. Cottage cheese, le em chop or spread out. Yeah. You corn and onion. Inja, inja, inja. Black. The fridge, you corn. Yeah, kira kira na. Kuna manje, yeah, na le singwa le. Yeah. My food alpha ani le. Again, again, you know it can't. I love food alpha. No. You can't. Okay, I like the cheese. So let's. So. When I no muntu ako, did you guys have a meeting when this bread went stale? Uguti nkuli misa ne uguti gashe gashe. Why didn't she eat this bread? Yes, she did actually say uguti. Unprovoked. Uguti, <laughs> uguti. <laughs> and as, or I think wafi, because it was one of those weekends. Bengi wan. Gashe na wekanti. Yeah, no gashe na para ngu tu. Shita. Tracker. We have gashe. We have gashe. We have gumbo yabo. So wapu ya. Nga as uguti mina maybe. You know what is simply an element, you know? And we are not sure where. You know what? No, 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 no,
Oh, it's not Endolex. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some tonsils, let's pray, Mos. No, some are not good. Go back and lap. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. What um Krinel? Ah, sorry. What the sinkwa sim Krinel? Yeah. What you know? Krinel and Asizo Village. No, I say Krinel man. The sinkwa. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. What the Krinel? Yeah. 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 So, Sister, five days, tell the paya. Yeah, so three days. I'm not even losing your fast because now Ben's arm, I'm still going to lose ten. Ben's arm because his name is going to be painted in Mumbai. His name is Mumbai. Mumbai, you don't get a painter now. Yeah, you go in Zanzibar. Bo Khalil. We say we're opposite, man. Yeah, but so we're scared of us one guy. No, one guy. No, one guy. I'm telling you, I'm a pit. I'm a pair. Epsu. Oh, Epsu. We ask Epsu to paint to survive. I don't know. For we ask Epsu to survive. Epsu. He paints. Hey, you tell about what we paint. Okay, so we are practicing. There are so some harm. This episode, by the way, in revenge, I won't come to be angry or anything on the shabby shit episode because nobody has joined. Jebab like us very fair. I understand. Ah, shit, tracker. I like a parallel skip or a. The revenge here, no le. Spatele ni na vadi wamta vuge. No, I man, it was not a, a serious thing. It's, it's a pulumuzi or something. You know what I mean? In that time, man, le. So it was so not a serious na, thing. And then ati, ati no. I didn't find the bread tasty, or I was ignoring it. But what did? What was the excuse not to indulge no, in such say, delicacies? Just cleaning the masses of root, but just cleaning even more. Yeah, bo. So I was okay, as in. Let's think of being a Next time, maybe. What's Piga? Who's Piga? I don't know. 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 I who you made know, an outfit for Michelle Obama? Obama. No, no, that's Makosa. No, Michelle also wore a Terry Maku. Oh, wow, yes. did she? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes. the one, man. I know he did an amazing collaboration, the tennis stuff with Adidas. Mm. And he did he, he, the training kit, I think, with Orlando Pirates. So why are you shouting him out? Because I bumped into him. It pinned Therefore? Us. Therefore, he's flying the SA flag high. Where? Internationally. Where? In the uh, fashion arena. <sighs> New York Fashion Week. Paris Fashion Week, he's there. But he's doing great but stuff. But like to celebrate. You know? I mean, uh, Shout out to Trevor I mean, Noah. I mean, I'm not against Shout out to Trevor Noah. I mean, I'm not against celebrating people, but I feel like there has to be a minimum banana where we can start celebrating. Yeah, okay. Dude, are you saying Tebet does not reach the yeah, level the, the, the that part. he deserves celebration? He does. Tebet Makuku is incredible. Okay, Jenny, Mich- tell me more. You Educate just told me, me he did Trekker. Michelle Obama Shit. stuff. Yeah, but Michelle Obama is unemployed. Go back. Shit up, track. Why are you hating yeah, on No, no, I'm, I don't even know the person. I wouldn't even recognize him. I'm born. Yeah. I mean, my thing is, and this is a real thing. Dude, I mean, you I, like, a, a, an international partnership with yeah, Adidas. High pitch your voice is going as you're convincing me. Dude. Shh. All right. Hey, Baba. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Baba. This guy did a whole, this guy did a whole international <laughs> collaboration bird. with Adidas. Come on, man. Okay, so that's worth a shout okay, out. Okay, so he what what's what's the type of clothes that he makes? Sports. He, 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 it's it's varied, you know. Sports apparel, sports or... apparel, casual stuff as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it varies. Help me, air fact checker. <laughs> Drowning him. <laughs> I didn't think it's gonna be a whole thing. Just shouting out the guy. Now it's a whole thing. It is. But no, he's brilliant. You're getting, you're, yes, you're getting he's really great. Um, Tebe Makoko is a contemporary South African fashion designer, so right. he does do your casuals. And yes, there was a dress that Michelle Obama wore mm-hmm. that was designed by wow. him, and he has collaborations with Adidas. Nice. And then, Bro, that's big. <laughs> so are you saying that's an underachievement by your standards? No, 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 no. no. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm all about celebrating achievements. All I'm saying is we have to have a cap where we start celebrating. Yeah, but I imagine Meg was in Miami. Mm. I mustn't say shout out, Meg is flying the SA flag high. He's just in Miami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And then we had DJ. If, if he happens to be eating at some place, we all like on. If he happens to go to a strip club, he's going to go. And then some, somewhere, someone's going to put two CDJs <laughs> in front of him and say, do your thing, my guy. You understand? 
and I then he's going to come home. I get so you. if I'm a designer and my parents paid and then I went to a, a whole school and there's a whole bunch of us and then I, I have a name for my, I make a name for myself and I just says, yeah, here's a spot in Ghana, Spana, in Zanyana, collaboration. I can't now say, which we must sit here and go, shout out for flying the flag. You're, you're just doing the thing that you're trained to do. Mm. I, there's pilots that are flying Qatar play, air buses, that I'm Zanzi, but I haven't heard. We don't give them shout outs. Because we don't know about them. Yeah, but how? Work. Yes, but I Because where we come from, sometimes we must celebrate the wins because where we come from, it's a very dark place. And we come from a country with its challenges. Not a lot of Teba Makukus out there or kids who are doing that. Yes, in America or New York, a hundred of them every year will go out there and have that collaboration. Yeah, but America but in, in is... SA, it's worth celebrating, Eugene. Yes, but America is huge. So yes. this thing of us comparing so we ourselves can't have those America standards. Those are huge well. standards that apply for America. Yeah, but we must stop this thing as well. America is huge. Mm. You can live in one state. You want like it, Devin. They have their own economy there. Yes. So it's, the it's, people it's can be famous the there. Yes. So in America, you can only imagine how big the states is. So we shouldn't even try and compare. Maybe it's not compared to net big enough us, so I don't know. But we oh, mustn't wow. compare us. <laughs> 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 Maybe let's compare ourselves with Burkina Faso. But what I'm saying is, like South Africa, I the bar is too is too low. It's, what are those examples? Yes, of... yeah, le le to learn is. is too... yeah, but, yeah. Because you watch you watch what our prim what is supposed to be our premier music awards. Yeah, it's Pre- a, yes. South African. Music. music yeah, awards. it's not like in the original. The only ones with the yeah. Only. So these are our music. Grammys, these are our PETs. And then the only thing that people talk about the whole entire time, two topics. Someone who swears at someone else. Kel so, Kumar. Yes, Kel he swears. Kumar. Yes, swears. Then that's all we're talking about sitting at home. We didn't buy tickets to go watch the shows. Mm. Kel Maka is Kuluma about someone who swore. Yeah. The other thing that trends is what? A guy wearing white pants dancing. Skomota. Hey, Skomota. Hey, I saw a shout out to Skomota. Yeah, so I'm saying... This is your sub. This is your sub. Someone to shout out. This was this is someone to shout out to Skomota. Yeah, because you shouldn't. <laughs> Why? Because, so... What are we celebrating him for? He's a good dancer. No. I need to, there's, there's a child. I need now when I we're you were celebrating about people, him for, for you, embracing. Hold on. I need to when I, now you were celebrating someone embracing who, start, what, so? who studied design and art. I need, yes. So now Tebema Kukuge Loyo. I need to, you're, you're talking about him. His outfits are being worn by Michelle Obama. He's doing collaborations with Adidas. Yes. There's a kid now after who's doing dan- contemporary dancing who would love to have a, a stage. To be exposed, but also probably they'll perform in Switzerland somehow, and we'll never find out about them ever again because there they'll recognize their talent. But here, the premier awards of this country is there a talented kid from a university whose parents paid money for them to do contemporary dance, who can use that stage to further their career, or are we that country now who celebrates mediocrity and just put a person purely because someone who's in charge of something? saw them on a feed, then they managed to book them and pay them to stand in front of the whole country and represent us at the premiere. Point of correction. It yeah. was not the Psalmist who brought him out. It's Makadzi who brought him out yeah, at you, the Psalmist. But you, can, so, you cannot perform artist, without being she's... sanctioned. Yeah, yeah, no, no. You cannot say I'm bringing Eugene. You're going to have to explain why you bring Eugene. Makadzi need... does not need to explain why she's bringing her back. Yeah, she doesn't need to explain her so outfits. Why, why, why bring... That one, I'll give it to her. She doesn't even have to explain her outfits or her routine. Look, dive on so long ago. E one, but yo, you cheat us You understand? So there's two things she doesn't need to explain. He listen to Les, but I'm saying that the organizers, you have rehearsals here. You have, yes. There's time allocation, so you can't say I'm bringing in Eugene for no apparent reason. So what was the reason for a guy like Usko Mota? I, I don't know him. Because he's ben trending. I think okay. because he's gone viral. And uh, no, I'm a special so needs. That, no? that, so that trumps art. Um, no, no, no jokes. No, no, no jokes. No, I'm a special needs. Mm. So Some kids I'm a special needs. Hold on. Minang need the underlegs, man. Je? <laughs> hey, we spray foot. We spray foot. No, as in, Usko Mota. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! I got it, I got it! Hey, Eugene. That's it. Who's I don't know his story, but as Umuntu has special needs and the way he he looks, even till today, people... Well, how does he look? 
Um, people make jokes about. It. They tease him. How does he look, sir? People tease him. That's how he looks. So, ah, as a they, person, they look your tease one. Yeah. Yes, because people tease him online. Like, but he, they, they're like girls. Uh, like, you remember when he was still trending for getting I don't girls? Remember. And people, I, I people, just... Okay, he started trending when okay. he was like, I don't know, he was on some podcast. And at first, I thought it was like legit till I found out it's a joke, you know, that. Uti. That no, that he, this girl, uh, he slept with this girl and. Uh, oh, but Malem to the man. It's this match. He didn't Malem Kamel, sir. Yeah. He didn't Malem Niga, um, Amantumbazana. XC, Namachita Niga Mantumbazana. Oh, Baba Bambis. It's. It's partly like that. Oh. If we're being honest, yeah. it's like that. Yeah, well, to oh, let me be my Mavuso, yes. Oh, so, so he, he, Madame Camelo, mind you. Yes, so he got. Yeah, hey. Madame Camelo, Mavuso. Hey! Quebec. Yeah. So, um, go back in danger. So, for me, I see him as a symbol of hope. Symbol? To Abantu Abaning, Abakuleba Polishwa, like symbol. getting bullied. Yeah, symbol of hope. What what hopes are these? Um, a kid who's a kid. Oh, oh kuleka see with special needs. I'm actually bam bam tease, bam tease. But when's that? Guti ah, nga like buti tata ga ti, abo slow lena like and I'm into masana on phone. There's always those kids, the guys. Let's be honest. So, so he's hope for those kids. For me, that's he's what he for, seems. So he's seems a pioneer for that. Oh, right so now. he's an ambassador for teeth. No, 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 no. He didn't come out and say he's that. Me and you born like a child. Me, me and one who's come out. Born a born ambassador. Ha. He could be. He could, he could like be a pioneer. A pioneer. Look, he's not. A, he's not gonna change lives. But he's not. He, How? But he, that's what you just but said. You said he's, gonna, he's gonna inspire. Guys, it's come out that it's his time. What time to do what? Do want, eh? It's time to do what? To reap. <laughs> <laughs> it's his time to make some money. I'm sure Makata, I hope Makata paid him. You know, and I hope everybody else who's booking him to host parties and be a host who's gonna or, pay for or make appearances. For what we saw. Or make a, <laughs> people pay. I hope he's making money. That is Travagel. Ah, hey, you don't hate this come. Oh, I hate this come on. Okay, Mina, my point was to prove yeah. to where Nagasagasi. We, you are those people, but pay, 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 pay. You are part of what's wrong with South Africa, Wayne. Okay. Because you like celebrating the bottom of the bottom. Yo. Because when I mean, they came from the bottom and they're making ah, something, they you, like, you can yeah, say that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm the kind of guy who celebrates okay, so, the small victories, Eugene. I need to tell my cuckoo, you explain to me. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. So I'm saying, Guti, okay. Usko Mota Yena, if he's on the world's, South Africa's biggest stage, so the continent's biggest music stage. Yeah. And he's there and he happens to steal the show again. I need. Mm. And then there's people who studying music, there's people who studying dance. I'm mean, going you say whether he was dancing. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, wasn't there another kid somewhere who's exceptional where they could have there is. sent out a casting call to all the mm. lectures about the contemporary dance and say... But that's on the... Makadzi, no. not the Samas. No, so, but what I'm saying is the Samas as an institution sanctions whatever happens on that stage. Definitely, yeah, they're in charge. Yeah, they're in charge. So someone somewhere looked at that and thought this was okay. Someone somewhere who's in charge of what happens there. Because it's a viral sensation. Angali, that's what my thing is. I'm saying that's how we end up with about Dr. Matthew Lani. That's how we end up here I get with people. Because now we are so addicted to what's viral, we ignore what's happening. That's for oh, real. Oh, the truth. Yeah, so the truth of the matter is, Tina, the banking system there, yeah, everyone? Hey. It's screwing us daily. You open your bank on the app, there's 50 rand missing. You don't know how. They tell no, I need interest rates have gone up. Mm. No, there's an extra charge. We don't need to tell you. If you don't like it, take your money somewhere. But basically what they've just said to you is, whoever you can take your money to is doing the same thing. Mm. That's what the gist of this whole entire thing, your collusion is. It means if they're colluding and manipulating the rand, they're also doing price fixing on all the services that oh, they the provide for you because that's the only way banks make money. Definitely. So I'm saying that if we're there now, we can be okay. So if that's not the discussion that we're having, if it doesn't trend at number one, but we're trending on Muntes Ngamazi, who doesn't affect us, but we're able to take all of our attention and face it on that one particular person that we all don't know, that has no impact on us, that will probably not make no money from us liking them. But the fact that we have diverted our attention yeah, but so that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that we are so good at it that we can focus on things of no consequence. It was the same weekend their voter registration. Sadly, I mean, sadly, yeah. Wasn't it? Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. So all the people that were trending, the topics that were going at us, did they go to vote first? I don't know, but I mean, the, messaging register was, first. the messaging was out there to go vote. I don't know if someone at the summers did remind people, but the messaging was out there. 
Okay. Equally so. Okay. But and bear in mind, this is not topic. only it doesn't only happen in South Africa. Remember that I watched a, 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 a documentary. There was some guy who went viral in the US. Um, Nae. And then he saved, he saved, I think, a woman from getting robbed and hit the guy with a hammer on the head. How, what was he doing with a hammer? Have you guys seen that? Hold, hold on, hold on. I've that that docky. I've seen hold, that. Hold on. Yeah. This guy was good, good, just... Good, good question. Good question. Roaming the streets with a hammer. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Good question. Because yeah. the guy had mm. this small hammer or some weapon of some sort. Mm. And so everybody overlooked that. What's this guy doing? And this guy... One of my special needs, mm -hmm. right? Yes, he saved the woman in this instance, right? Mm. Cool. Then it went viral. Mm. Started being on all these shows, you name them, your friends, uh, Trevor Noah and them, but not Trevor Noah, it's way before Trevor Noah's time, but late night talk shows. Late night know? talk show, yeah, and I know that. And he'd be on, not Ellen DeGeneres, but you know, there's many a plethora Jimmy of shows. Kimmel's, yeah. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel's of this world. Mm -hmm. And superstar now, right? They want to design a whole show around him, et cetera. Um, and then... He goes missing for a while. They can't find him. Of course, Umchita needs medical, mm. you know, uh, help. Mm. Um, and he didn't need media attention. Not media, he yes. Medical attention. And everybody overlooked that. Mm -hmm. You see, which I hope with our Skomota, if he does, man, but you know, my special needs. He does get the help he he, he deserves and attention. Okay. And if he's making money, it goes towards taking care of okay. him in the future. Anyway, so we're getting closer to the problem here. That guy, that guy. Then yes, we are. Cause, but I was just saying it's not a South African thing. To people celebrate go video viral. Equity. People go viral. The most unlikely, unlikeliest of heroes or whatever will arise randomly and go viral for that short space of time. And there's no problem in celebrating that person, right? So that guy sadly killed someone. Same guy, ornamental yeah. issues that rose around with a small hammer. And there was a show. And we were surprised in Hollywood, like waiting for him. He killed someone. And then people started asking these questions. Please Google the guy. So just say, um, crazy American homeless, guy who drives, say, who, who yeah, walks homeless, around with a hammer. <laughs> homeless. Google homeless. But it was something that he used to say, like, bam, boom, boom. We are masking. Yeah. yeah. Google homeless this. American sensation killer documentary. It was probably like two years ago, or a year ago that yes. it came out. Homeless yeah. American killer documentary. It's on Netflix? Online sensation, sure. yes. Hammer, what do you want? Hammer men. <laughs> no. Hammer time? <laughs> no. <laughs> hey, I would have me, you know? <laughs> hey, you, you, you're dishing the mouth. So wait, but so when you're saying, while Fed Checker is checking for us, I need to, when I would see I'm just saying, I'm just saying. It's not, it's saying, not, it's not mentally all day. So, I, no, no, I agree I heard. with so. I'm yes. just saying, it, it happens the world over, celebrating uh, people who on a regular basis would overlook and they so happen to become media sensations or internet sensations. It's not a South African phenomenon. It happens everywhere. So, I was all by name. Oh, so boy, Antoine. The unlikeliest of, you know, Celebrator. heroes. Yeah, 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 yeah celebrator. <laughs> um, his name is Kai. Kai! Kai. Well, that's what Kai. he says when he hits you. <laughs> no, that's his name, Kai. Oh. Kai. That's his name. And Uchayo the... Kakain! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> oh, my God, I'm Okay, fact checker, yes, Kai. Yeah, he's Kai, um, and he's a hitch. He was a hitchhiker, hitchhiker. Ah. and he was saving a woman from being um, murdered at that time, or robbed. Mm -hmm. And the documentary is on Netflix. What so he called? went viral after it's the. Called Kai Hatchet, um, will yes. that it's a hatchet, he had a hatchet, hatchet. See, that he had, yeah. Yes, but that, that still, it's like, why are you just going around with that thing? So he went viral when the news channel asked him what happened. And he was like, oh yeah, I just saw this woman. And then I was like, I hit him five times in the head. Boom, boom. And then just went viral, you know. I'm so the guy's dead. The one that he hit with the hammer. Oh yeah, some old man. Um, Some old man, I think, uh all. I, no, I can't remember. I can't remember, but he ago. killed some old man, went into this old man's house. Um, he says the old man, Ngati, um, So it became a whole like that. story that Sounds maybe like it wasn't... Blanche yeah, it, that actually... Yes, he, something like that. It became a murder case even. With yeah, that but he's in prison scenario. now. Yeah, he's in prison. Kai, the hitchhiker. Yeah. So just check out Kai. Kai, the hitchhiker. So K-A-I. But the so, difference with these stories uh, uh, <clears throat> is that... So you're saying 
it's one thing when someone is celebrated for, okay, they were saving a life. Yes, it, yes. Yeah. Yes. So obviously it's like, oh, there's a lot of eyes on you and you're being celebrated for that. Now, that what is it? Yeah. That's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. Just a strange guy, man, who... Oh, now we're getting closer to the... Mm -hmm. mm. No, look, so he's a, a strange guy. Talking about you know, what that is a... Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the. You say I put to Malanyan. Who bag us all? You say I call it like No, it's just yeah. a cook. Yeah, <laughs> I'm cooking. No, it's a strange guy who. And I'm just in the man. He bamba um um lilo online. And then what do ma? What about you? The sensation where he'd go on these podcasts, people or make these videos, or his friends would take these videos of him. Say, yeah, I slept with so and so. I gave them this much. But obvious, because remember you said now, but go back to the new one. Right, and, and, then then just, and, and then it just and then it just zangi ngang fag lab ubano shanga ni nang tize lobe bati u nenyu yes oh yes so yeah then it just became viral it's viral that's why it's, it's viral you don't know how it it, it it takes off but it takes off okay so it gains steam and momentum. Okay. Fact check, I've got something for all. Um, just something. to add on to Kai's statement, yes, he has been convicted for 50 years in prison mm. for first degree murder. Mm. And to get to the Skomata part, he was trending because one of the ladies stole his phone and his friend actually put it on TikTok, just saying sorry for him, one of the Mavuso ladies. And from then, he's just started becoming entertaining. Mm. So that's why he's that viral. Which part? Which he's part? Dancing. Shout so out to Hey, shout out. Yeah! <laughs> so, let me say. So, so, uh, so, so, which, I heard you saying, and then entertaining, which part of, of, of his whole spiel is entertaining? Obviously, the first video. What that... obviously? Okay. As as. <laughs> oh, but it's obvious because he's now a chain. Because he's currently a chain, so that makes it obvious. I that mean, is entertaining. That it was entertaining to oh. the audience that he had a Mavoso who stole his phone. This was way before the podcast started. And the videos were just coming up because he got back together with the female okay. after she took his phone and stuff like oh, that. Oh, he even and went back together with her? Yes, mm. and people were inquisitive to actually find out exactly who this person is. Oh. Oh. To find that he's just a random gent who's living his life, his best life, wearing designers, plunging money, drinking, dancing. Oh, so at the same time, as a country, we're more interested in him than the person that stole his phone. At first, it was about the person that stole his phone. Do we know her name? It's his girlfriend. I'm not sure if they're still but together, we know but yeah. The, the guy. We know the context behind it behind and it. the gent, okay. which is Gomata. And as time went by, the fame started growing beyond his relationships and the girls that he like would get. relationships, plural. And yeah, because I mean, Wafasa and they're hot. Mm. That's a fact. He gets hot chicks. Maybe. 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 But yeah, he's he's living a lavish life for a person that is in that his is what? state. What's it, what state is this? Whatever state. It's in effect check up. But Mouth is Komota's mental state. It's in. Well, I, I see here that there are speculations that he has Down syndrome, but it's All right, we're getting it. It's alleged. Yeah. It's alleged, yes. It's alleged. Okay. Let's just get that clear. It's alleged. We don't have his it's not records. clear until yeah. he states. Okay, okay. so... Yeah. Parent states or okay. whoever okay. So, lives with states. So, what's your opinion on Eugene, on the shibi sheets? <laughs> now, he did like Shit one... Up. Yeah. Okay. He did one million in two days. Do you feel like it's valid for him? He's, uh, 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 or is it just another? Or is it unto your attention that could no, no. be better deserving of someone who studied music and could, you know what I mean? It has, it, it, it has not been on the podcast and deserves the platform as well. Do you welcome being celebrated when? Hi. Personally, mm. why does this camel not have a hump? <laughs> that has bothered me for a long time, man. <laughs> When people had a problem This is the with... flattest camel I've ever seen. It be humble camel. Let me know this. Let me see. Where is it? Ah, I'm... Where? Ukseli pezgwai. Ukseli... Oh. Nani ya tandu manipulate my facts. Yes. Aguna hamp la. Ubege isange pezgwai hamp. There's more hamps in my complex than this thing here. Aguna hamp la. So ubani kamalele nkamel. Uhamp free. 
I want to start from the and then we're gonna end up with and then you can ask the, ask again when okay. I ghosty. So Mina Lagas Komota is I think we're getting closer to the truth here. He became because yes. now I'm just doing it for everyone. Now it's a public service announcement. Yes. I'm doing it for everybody. Yes. Hey, I keep on my label in Jayam. Not to Skomota, I'll keep on my I don't have Venice, so it's fine. Okay. So I uh, he got famous because his phone was stolen eh? by according, a Mavuso lady. To eh? the internet. And then someone who happens to be his friend, who purports to be his friend, recorded him as he was going through all of this. Eh? My best friend, who I've just said now I've been robbed of a phone mm. by someone who extorted money from me, clearly because of Kamel. So it fit at the time to take their phone and record me going through all of this. Mm -hmm. Bear yeah. in mind that I've been robbed. I'm, I've always been almost been extorted and I could be obviously accused of rape in general, general because I need to know where the extortion goes there. I need, yeah, yeah. The yeah. next step is Gen that thing. Generally, yeah. And also it's purported that I might have a mental illness. So this friend of mine, so so it fit to record me. And then after recording me, post the thing. Mm. And then Tina, as a community, we made the fact that he looks the way he does and he behaves the way he does. And he ended up with that type of a girl. Mm. We overlooked the fact that he got robbed mm. and was extorted of money and could have been charged with rape. And then there's a friend who decided to record him and publish all of this unbeknownst to him, right? Or without his permission. So we overlook all of that. Mm. So now we're attracted to the freak show that is going on here. Mm. We're not attracted to the tragedy of this situation. Where A lot of people, bear in mind, don't know the origins of his story. So they don't know about that tragedy. Yeah, bear but in mind. To, hold on. Since when come out that trend, that's the band. No, hold on. I need to... dance challenges that was coming. Yes, but I need to... Then hopped on to. Now, <laughs> Munyan, like... Hey... Magangiti, the fact is, we knew Uguti, there was a hot chick. That Not when, when, when people look at Skoma, they're like, Nja, na lo muntu lo. I think that's what you said, fact check. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the thing was, lo muntu onje, na lo muntu anonje. I remember, I, I called Vele Wind when, Begaba, but I ain't told me, I'm not a mad friend. Go to all out and Jay told me, I'm not a mad friend. Yeah, well, now we're getting closer to it now. Mm. So it's the way he looks. I mean, so someone did that, published Yonkin Tenze. Mm. So what I'm saying is, at the summers, that's what they decided to go with over someone who has genuine talent and has studied the art of dancing. So I'm saying, this is what I am saying. I'm saying that, Mina, I'm not expecting someone who's sitting somewhere watching on their TikTok to be discerning. But I do expect a whole committee that represents artists, recording artists of the country, to decide to give someone else who has genuine talent and who has studied their art a platform in front of the whole country. But they do. To exhibit their ways. But Eugene, at the summers, from beginning to end, there's qualified dancers, contemporary, pantula, gumboots, everybody on stage doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Then Skomota so happened to have his so five happened. minutes. They were there. They, those people you're talking about, that's not so act happened. Like, let's not act like those people of Okulmahabo didn't get the opportunity to be on stage. They get it at the summers every day. But once in every a while? Yeah, I mean. But once in a while, yeah. a, 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 an online sensation will get roped in by an artist. And it's okay, bro. So you went I from, get the point so you went from someone who's not all there to an online sensation, according to you. He, he, he's both at the same time. Yeah. Kai was not all there, and he was an online sensation and, and now a hero. He's a convicted? All three at the same time. And now he's a convicted murderer. Let's not forget that part. Murder former sensation, yeah. Yeah, so now we can't conveniently forget things that... What important I'm saying in is, the story as well. What you say that he was being extorted for money and his phone was stolen. That's how we got to know of him. So we are not solving the problem here. Mm -hmm. We're saying this thing ends mm -hmm. should have gotten more attention than him looking the way he does. Mm. It probably did. And it probably didn't because we don't know the woman's name. We don't know what happened to her. Was she charged with extortion? And we can't assume theft? we can't assume it got overlooked. We can't assume but we're not talking that about justice her wasn't met out. What's her name? I don't know. But we can't assume justice wasn't met out simply because he now became famous from that. that. I can we can't safely you assume see, that. You're making a lot of assumptions, Eugene. You <laughs> made a lot of assumptions. Wait, now, which one is fact, Yaku? Fact is... Yeah, well, the, hey, guys, whoa! So is going to give us fact. <laughs> no! No? Fact we is. are changing already! Ah. Ah, yeah, his Johnston is, you know what I said, Johnston, we're voting EFF, but it's like, yeah, <laughs> but you're not gonna take your house. You just My no is not a no to say, I'm saying. Oh, your no means the yes. The oh, yes, that occurred to him. Oh, yes. Right? Which one is it, Sol? The, the, the crime occurred to him. They stole his phone. 
Fact. He became an online sensation. No, 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 no. Don't skip, don't skip. Nothing skip. wrong with that. I'm telling you, Malium Kamel. According to the internet, the story she told. Now you're telling us facts now. Tell us all of them. I'm telling you the ones that I know. I Could it know be that this them? phone was because, taken for example, in exchange know. for Malium Kamel? That's according to fact checker. Okay, let's... But, let's but I want you to say it on the record, dang it. There's yeah, there's another fact. <laughs> Okay, okay. But sure, so all sure, these sure. things can okay. be true at once, Eugene. Um, in terms of how he blew up, That's that it. is still going on with the soulmate statement. However, mm. for him to be well known is because he also won three million rands from Bedway. But with the from fear, where Bedway, Bedway. Yeah, they're born. Who's to up my facts? Yeah, there's so yeah, many. We're getting sides. closer to the truth, yeah. yeah. So it means so when are your fact. Also, oh, so he does have nah, the money. So, yeah, he so that's how you got million. the money. Yeah, he won it from a bet, a from, bet platform. Uh, gambling sites. Yes, and then um, uh, from the South African, it also says that surprisingly he met his soulmate while collecting his winnings. Oh. And we put... <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course he oh. met his soulmate while collecting three million rands. <laughs> the soulmate is also, also part of the story. But yeah, it's just the whole long story of him winning the three million and how he met the female ah, and how see, he got... I'm happy for Skomota, man. No, but you see, here, here's what... Thank you, fact checker. You see, my point is, we've just proven it now. We don't interrogate the story enough. Mm. See, now we just go surface, 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 and then it always ends up where it's convenient for us. Yeah. An odd-looking guy who happens to have a mental disability, Ganyanias, presumably who wears designer clothing and his phone was taken by a girl that he slept with who wanted money, then got away with the phone and then his friend recorded him. Then he's a viral sensation who dances at the summer. That's where we ended. We just dug deeper. If we didn't have this conversation long enough, we wouldn't have gotten to a point where we understand where a person that we presume has a mental illness got to wear designer clothes. Yes. Mm, yeah, true. But now we are here. So basically, he's not famous for being odd-looking or being having a mental disease or almost being robbed. No. He's famous for winning the lotto or winning a, 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 a large sum of money. And, and we wouldn't have known him otherwise. Is, is that a popular known fact? This. It's not. No. It, he's it, famous for being the weird fact. guy with nice clothes and girls like him. And there's that thing we're not used to seeing. Yes, but we... Because, would, because he's Tina, got money. Where yes. did he get that money from? Yes. Lotto. Yes. yes. Th yeah, that is unknown yes. to a lot of people. Because, Tina, we're not in his stratosphere. So he's not famous for it. No, we don't live where he lives, so we wouldn't have known that. Mm. Tina, we only knew mm -hmm. him after his friend published a video of him. Yes. And the story about his phone. That's how we got to know him. Or some currently just know of him. Exactly. Just so now. So yes, now, yes. so now, if you follow back the trend, now you go. Okay, that's how we got to know him. And la puma kwa nebama zela ngenda we ugutu bamba itri millioni no ugutu kugama tizainu jabantuan. How does that translate to you being at the closing of the summers? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Stelan, who is you now host the summer next year? I'm full of host of you. Okay, sharp. And then what was your question there? No, no, no. I was just, I, I was asking about chibi sheets. How do you feel? about him because that's another like viral sensation you well, know there's some talent there you know uh, watching that episode he's very talented because obviously people love him and watching that episode proved one thing to me that I'm old because I didn't know him until I saw him Shita Twerker and then when they were like no Shita Twerker and I was like when's Alan Mosol he's lost his mind <laughs> <laughs> then I was like oh and it's a real thing that he's saying yeah. but my thing is he has influence in his market or on his market, right? <clears throat> yeah. But is he ever going to be in a billboard anytime soon? If I look Coke Studios or whatever, whatever. Mm, I don't think it's going to happen. Because also there are people that these brands choose to put their money behind. But this guy's got influence because in two days, he had over one million views. Yeah. So it means he's got influence. There's people who relate to him. There's people who love big him. Time, big yeah, but I'm tired. Big, he's loved. Big yes, time. but what do those people need the most in their lives right now? Do they need entertainment or do they need... What do they need? The people that love him the most. His fans who are a certain age group, who are a certain demographic. What do they need the most right now? I don't know. What they do need they need education and they need jobs. So while he still has that audience with him, he needs to tell them, register to vote so you can change the way things are, so you can qualify for an ESPAS and go get an education. So you can, so you can, so you can. So all of he this... He did is say, though, people must stay in school, right? Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. he did. Yeah. He did push the message of yeah, education. So, and refrain no, no, so, from crime, you know. And refrain from right? crime. Right? Yeah. Like the mistakes he made, he did yeah. tell people to refrain from them. Yeah, so I'm saying that's the person who has an audience. So if I was at the IEC and I worked there, 
and there's a budget of one million rand, who do you think I would hire? Shabby shit. If I care about the youth that is hopeless right now, that, that has to resort to doing crime, because I don't think people choose to do crime. I think people resort mm, mm, to doing mm, crime, right? People who are unemployed who are like, okay, then I mean, I'm not going to do crime and I don't have ways to get money, so I'm just going to stay here mm. and be unemployed. If ever people were needed to be spoken to are those ones, and he has a direct link to them. But I feel like there's too much that goes on that is uh, distracts people from voting and changing their circumstances. And that, that worries me the most. Yeah, it's scary, that, bro. That the, young, the people that young people listen to all have endorsement deals right now. And those endorsement deals will bar them from going into the political arena because once you mention voting, automatically you looked at as if you're going into the political arena. But I'm like, we're not worried enough about what's going to happen next year. And I don't think people understand in their minds how important next year's election is. It's the next important election before the one that we had, Nelson Mandela in 1994. True. This is the most crucial one because we don't even know if the ANC wins who's going to be our president. Mm-hmm. We don't even know at the ANC already. Already. Ugut, yeah, yeah cuz we I mean I haven't heard Paul Mashatila speak. And I can tell you right now, I'm not ready for John Stazen to become my president. Eh? Ah, Chade! Jesus Christ. <laughs> so I'm not ready. So I so yeah. I look and I look at Uta Hemen Mashaba. I haven't seen him in a while and last time I saw him doing interviews, he wasn't looking all that healthy and coherent. So I mean I'm worried about him already cuz I'm like if I vote action essay, then he becomes my president. Is he okay? Is he strong enough? Is he viral? is it is, is it viral enough to lead right now? Because I'm not seeing him throwing shade at anyone. I don't see him doing press conference. I haven't seen them doing an imbizo. So I don't see him anywhere. And then I look at Julius. Then I'm like, hmm, I mean, I'm not sure. For me, nah. Yeah, for me, nah. I'm not sure. So who right now, you sure as, So what are your uncertainties? Are, what are your uncertainties around Julius? So then if, if okay, if you're unsure, then why would you register to vote? Because, because you don't a, know who to vote for. Because there's a lot of people who say, I'm 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 not sure of who even who yeah. to, So why should I even go register? Because Mina, my mind can be changed. If there's one thing I'm proud of mm. about myself, is if my mind changes, I'll be ready to make a decision. Oh. So imagine if I don't register to vote and my mind changes, Beautiful. but then I've given the vote to someone else. Because basically when you don't register to vote, you give your vote to someone to else. Someone else. Okay. So I'm saying right now. Okay. Right as we stand right yeah. now. We don't know which in the next eight months or so, because the date hasn't even been announced yet. Yes. Which right. who might be our president? Mm. I don't think we understand. If we thought COVID was bad or that era of the eight lost years or wasted years was bad, we are about to go into a tsunami right now. And we are all just wearing shorts and, and sun hats. We don't understand what's going on in this country. And the banks thing. Have you seen what's happening with Transnet right now at the ports? Oh, the oh, the ports are collapsing, man. Dirty yeah, ports. You, power stations, it's the ESCOM. You've a, seen what's happening? Messy. SAA just uncovered now, Guti. There was big, big, big irregularities financially before during the times of my mama, so it's a that are delinquent. So we, so we are fast asleep. It's almost like the things that make this country tick don't bother us. But as soon as you put a guy wearing white to white dancing, in the bigger stage. <laughs> that matters. Yeah, that, that matters because we can even debate it here. We can even sit here and debate it. Yeah. You can, maybe you guys will even reach out and have him as a guest. But you will not <laughs> interview. That's what you do. Same invite, he Yeah, so. Hey, what's come on? Yeah, that's what's up. No, that was come on. Yeah, but, we, but, but you see the fact that... But you, you're making valid yeah, points, bro. Yeah, my point was to prove that we know, we know a lot about nothing. Mm-hmm. But we don't know the names. The names of the CEOs of all the major South African banks that were involved in the scandal for the last eight years who have now since resigned. We don't know their names. What's come on? Ah, we know that guy, eh? Yeah, scom- yeah, scomota, yeah. We even know his name, scom- scomota. Like we know, but name one CEO of one of the major banks that was involved in the fixing of the RAND or the RAND manipulation saga that has made people lose their jobs, their businesses, mm. their homes, Bro. their cars, Bro. their children's livelihoods. Mm. Kill themselves so, some. Yeah, ki- so name me one CEO that was involved in that malfeasance that got people here. No one will tell me, mm. but tell me the guy who was dancing at the summers. So all I'm talking about here is platforms. I think as black people, whoever's pulling the strings has figured us out that we are easily distractible. And I think as much as YouTube has become our savior, it's going to be also our death. Because I've seen how 
the views of people that are on TikTok and YouTube have been skewed by people with money. You can tell when someone says something that's not true. Because remember that if I see something on the internet, I don't have to validate it on the newspaper oh. or go fact check it myself. Once I've seen it, I've seen it. And all I have to do is just spread that message over and over again. But what's going to happen to us in the next eight months if this rand and dollar manipulation saga has gotten us that bad? And I've mentioned four people. Stian Hazen, Julius, uh, Mashaba, and uh, who's the fourth one again? Um, Mashatil. Those, those four people have a high likelihood of becoming our president. But what do we know about them? Like, what, what do they stand for? Yeah. Yeah, so now we're worried about... So now there's going to be a driver driving this whole entire country. And we don't even know who that driver is because we're not registering and we're worried about silly things. That is my worry. That is... Yeah, what I mean, when I'm sitting at home or riding my bike or doing whatever, that's what I think about. That's what preoccupies me. Because I realize that as black people, we don't have the kind of money to survive anything going bad for four years. We don't have cash to weather a storm. Mm -mm. We're still reliant on the banks. So our houses are financed, our cars are financed. But then what did other people do during democracy? I mean, before democracy kicked in and the elections, they bought plots. They became self-sufficient. Yeah. They bought an old discovery and they bought it cash. Mm -hmm. So they were like, whatever happens with your financial system, la. Nina, we'll it won't affect buy. the way I live. Yeah. Shops will be open, so I'll be able to buy food, but I won't be they queuing at the... their pantries. Yeah, Tina, mm. in the next eight months, we are we at the brink, we are teetering at the brink of becoming a typical African country. Yeah. Oh, you were uh, yeah. almost there, hey, knocking on the door. Yeah, you've seen what Devon looks like? Sure. You've mess, seen what Pretoria man. looks like? It's a mess, you've man. seen what Jobek CBD looks like? Oh, bro. You've, bro Bloomfontein bro. looks like a ghost town. Have you driven in Bloomfontein yeah, yeah, recently? Yeah, it won't bloom. Clack stop, oh, have you seen what it looks like? Bro. So, Tina, because we live in a 50-kilometer radius and we go to Santin, Rosebank, Four Ways, Midstream, you know, we, we think everything is okay. No. Because we're buying ciabatta bread and then, you know, our aircon is always blasting on. We put a full tank. We can even spend half of what we use to put on our car to buy snacks at the garage when we are putting petrol. That's how far removed we are from the reality of things. Mm. We are able to spend a household's weekly wages mm. on snacks at one stop. At a garage. Yeah. Hey, bro. Yep. And we're black, eh? So that's how far removed we are from the reality of things. So when they say go vote, Mina, when I look at my that's subscription it. on my HDTV and then all of my subscription is paid, my Apple is there, my Netflix, I've got premium YouTube, Disney Plus, Hulu. In fact, when I see them at the robot, I become scared. Mm. You understand, Yeah, yeah, bro. A guy like Shebi Shed puts the reality of what South African youth looks like in our faces in Khan. Mm. And that's what I was hoping that people would get from the episode. So, yeah. Not his antics or where he came from or what he had to do to get here. Not even his music. Mm. You guys made us face what makes us uncomfortable because we don't want to see it anymore. Mm. We go to pantry absugu and spend money eating up. Not because it's a bad thing, because you can afford it. But you, as Saul, walking into that building, getting that salary, having that exposure, and having that financial freedom, you are one in a you are a drop in the ocean. Mm -hmm. You can bump into any other white person or any other color who doesn't dress the same as you, who has five times more than you, and you wouldn't even know it. Mm -hmm. See, now we stand out. So when a guy like Shabby Shit says, you know, I mean, I used to take people's phones, eh? And I used to stab them as well. And I used to, you know, even where I recorded, I went there because I wanted to rob them. Mm. And you know how to get into a house, take a jack, and then you, yeah, then we don't, we don't hear this. Because we are manufacturing these people with our opulence as black people who mm. have money and who have, who have an opportunity to, we can do it. Yeah. And then one day when those people become the majority and decide to vote for a party that they feel like represents them, guess who's going to suffer? You, me, every one of us yeah. here living in that 50 kilometer square radius because why? We're indebted to the banks. Those buildings there, like mm -hmm. if those companies decide, mm -hmm. I know we can't do this anymore. We're, we're all screwed. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying we're, we're not worried enough. Then we look at a guy like Chevy Shit, then we look at what he's done, but then we don't look at what we've done to him. <sighs> and he represents a whole oh. group of people. A whole, a, a massive. Yeah. I mean, yeah. the numbers are telling. Yeah, but if, you know, we can sit with him in the studio and laugh. But if you were rolling in your complex now after a jog, we are six and tambam, and see a guy like that, mm. do you feel safe? Nope. 
Would I, you? I won't feel scared necessarily. Okay. Because of ah uh, man. I believe. But 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 typical well, but, but, guy but, who eats. But the typical demographic too. would feel scared. Not me. I wouldn't. But but the answer should have been yes. But genuinely, I wouldn't be scared. Genuinely. Oh, I'm, that tough. I'm, I'm a heel, you are the same guy almost shot yourself I've here and your friend with a gun. I've lived here. with these people. <laughs> I'm, I've lived, come on. We are not shit. I'm clearly heel pro now now. I know how to, you know, interact with people. Yes. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't, but typically that demographic would. You're right. Yes. You're so right. we're not we're not worried enough. Yeah, we're not, bro. Yeah, so I'm saying that we're not be, at all. You know about zombie apocalypse. They're talking about it's a metaphor for these type of situations. Yeah. yeah. Where the desperate and the poor and the angry and the hungry decide to come for everyone. Yep. They're like, ah, it's this cartel, it's a sharp man. Now we're gonna come for you. And it's not gonna happen like they're gonna come and no. grab, and grab no, our throats. Yeah. yeah, one is gonna see you at a garage and do something about it. True. One is gonna see her mm-hmm. at a coming out of a Woolworths with bags of five thousand dollars. It's happening go. already. Yeah. You, you know, Lapugo like entry, well, all over there's crime. This thing like, of throwing rocks over this, the bridges. This thing, yeah, of throwing rocks, of putting spikes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, since um, I'm seeing this when she got robbed. That it happens there. Apparently, the movie garage in the cars. About mangal no mangal about oh it's that N three that stretch of the N three between Forslow and Heidelberg oh, yeah what? yeah 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 just put spikes and rob people, uh, stab you tie you up wipe you clean they withdrew like thirty k from this other person's account or eighty yeah a uh, white guy you know so it happens and about and about to mlungo utaki as long as you've got a car you've got something yeah. you're far better than them they will definitely come out yeah. with something so I think we, we're not worried enough we're not bro so. If 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 those kind of people that we say throw rocks over bridges when we drive past their dodgy neighborhoods and we're going fast in our German sedans, ne? if those people, that's what we're worried about. Those people that we cycle past when we're riding our 250,000 rent bicycles, quarter of a million bicycles, mm. I've seen them. Mm-hmm. And there's, yeah, 10, we'll there's, 10, them. there's 10 of them cycling. Yeah. <laughs> the thing, 250, 250. Then we say those people must just act normal. Like, uh-uh, he shall have plenty left. Me and you, our heroes, the people that we love, are busy advertising gigs on the day that we should be registering to vote. And they'll probably be having gigs sponsored by the same Stellenbosch uh, liquor companies mm. during the time of voting. I'm going to opt to go for that because they have influence over me. Mm. And guess the person who can't afford to go to that gig, we are up here another day. Mm. It's going to go vote. Mm. And when they show up there, the one person that gives them attention, they're going to vote for them. The person who goes, I see you. And you know I'm going to change this thing. And then they're going to vote for that person. And that person, he gets in his V-class. Where does he go? To the same gig that you and I are at. Yeah. Mm. Months go by. Now the same people now are in charge and they want answers from that guy. And the guy says, I'm going to change the uncle. We have enough of souls now. We've given our souls enough chance. The good English, the good education. They've had good jobs. It's your chance now. Rebel, burn this township. Burn, burn the streets. And your mom lives there. Mm. My mom lives there. But Tina, we're too preoccupied with things that don't really matter. That, Mina, that's what my worry is. And when I look at my timeline, I wonder what people are worried about. Because I'm like, I don't know what... We don't understand what's going on. Hey, man. Hey. Hmm? It's a stress to no, Real talk, yeah. yeah but real talk is worrying. Yeah, we don't understand. And I saw a post. I saw a post saying, I mean, the ANC had won the previous election by like 10 point something million votes. Mm. And there's 12 million young people who qualify to vote mm. who are not registered. Yep. 12 million. Mm. So all those young people who could just imagine, including some of those who are actually qualified, yeah, who so did it, vote. So imagine if Shevishit if, if, if Shevi said, I'm going to be a councillor. You know how many people would vote for him? Yo. Mm. Yo, bro. Yeah? Yo. Yay. Yeah. If he says, ah, I'm going to be, if Mac and you decide to go, yes, in guys, Tina, there's a part, we're going to, we don't understand politics because it's about popularity. If you win those small blocks and you create that trend, yeah. and then you get the people, you influence them, then you're gone from there onwards. That's why Muslim Kwebana now can leave an institution and go join a political party and be in the same parliament that fired you. Oh, yeah. Mm. So that's where we live. Like, we don't understand the oddity of the situation. And this other part that you said about, uh, when you show up at that garage bleeding, they know that something is wrong with you. I find it so weird mm. that whenever I go with my friends to the shooting range, I will see white women there, but I'll never see black women there. Mm. But yet you guys are the biggest victims of opportunistic crimes. Yes. True, true, true. You get raped with a knife, someone holding a knife, mm. someone holding a gun, toy mm. gun. But I don't see you, Mina La Payan, at the shooting range. I don't see you at those jujitsu classes, learning how to do grapples and tackles. Even within gun and ownership. Though. Yeah, and disarm. Yeah. 
90% of all gun licenses applications and those approved are not by black people. They're not issued it's to black people yeah. or even black women. So I don't understand what you mean. If I was the most vulnerable in society, the first thing that I would be learning now is how to use a knife, how to defend myself with my bare hands, krav makrainyana, chujitsu nyana, how to disarm, how to grapple and strangle, nje, with clothes and, and your hands. So I would learn that. Then I'd get firearm license. It's cheap. It's 350 rand to apply for a firearm license. It's 1,500 rand to get competency. The cheapest gun, handgun that you can find is almost 9,000 rand. So are you saying that when, if, if I'm a black woman who drives a German sedan, I'm just hoping Guti, when they stop me with my 30,000 rand iPhone and my 600,000 rand car, I'm going to be negotiating with this criminal. If I decide to go for a jog and this person pins me down, all I can do is scream for help. But who am I screaming for help to? Someone with a gun. Mm. I hope that that person shows up. Mm. But the person knows that I don't have one. But I've got a 30,000 rand phone, iPhone Max Pro. But I couldn't invest 950 rand to apply for a firearm license. I couldn't invest 1,500 rand to go do competency. And I couldn't invest 8,000 rand to buy a firearm so that if someone takes a chance, I can defend myself or my family. So how much of this is about knowledge and is about us sharing these experiences enough? But then those things will trend. If we see, I mean, whenever I see, I open my social media and I see last scene wearing blue jeans, I'm like, if only they could defend themselves, maybe yeah. this wouldn't have happened. Eh? Because why is it our race only that does this last scene disappeared? Why don't they take chances with the other races? That's because true. most white women are armed. They're armed. Well, there's they a, know there's how to video, There's even a video, a viral video, where a, a lady, you know, I think, uh, uh, retaliates. And she shoots. But Tina, what is our message, Tina? Do we go to gun shops? Do we Bro. go to, to knife shops? And it's funny because Afrikaners, they do that. Hey, They train, they train their boys, like military kind of style. The women have things, have, 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 are armed. The men are definitely armed, Afrikaners, men. Go into an Afrikaner ho yeah, home, try it. break yeah. in, fucking try it. Because yeah. they know that by numbers, they're in the minority. Yeah. So even if yeah. we're in the majority, yep. but we're the ones who are most ignorant, we're not arming ourselves and susceptible. by reading. Yeah, yeah. We, we should be victims, arming ourselves yeah. by reading because we're the ones who are, you know, not as educated, the opportunities, sure. highly unemployed, but we're not arming ourselves. Uh, me, me, I, our equivalent but if arming we're pushing gun ownership, not, right, Is it, are we not going to end up with a problem like a gun problem over the years? You see how what has happened in America? Yeah. Like, they have a huge, like, issue, Look, that side. Mm, mm, mm. Are we not going to land in the same? If now, let's say the majority of black people is the same way with the um, the white people. Yeah. Now we are all gun um, owners. Owners. Okay, I'll answer this in, in three parts. The first part is, I might be wrong, but fact checker, you'll check for me, ne? that most guns that end up in illegal hands, hands of criminals, are guns taken from law enforcement agencies. Mm. Security guards, police, metro cops. Have you seen how dangly the metro cops guns are? Yeah. But please, now is the whole star is busy dangling there. Then you're like, oh, so when are this gun, when are you not protecting with your life? But if you do competence, they train how, how to be competent to use a firearm. So that's one thing. So the majority of guns that end up in the black market or in the hands of criminals are not taken from civilians. Because most civilians, you wouldn't even know that they're carrying a yes, firearm. Yeah. That's the first thing. Secondly, if you dare try come for it, my man, you are gone. Eh? Because that person is trained. Is when you're a criminal, yeah. you are scared. It's not your firearm. You don't train with it. You don't know how to use it. Yeah. Each on chi, we're lento le. Yeah. yeah, now this is his friend. He knows how to use this thing. So if you take a chance, you are gone. Mm. So that's one thing. The other part is competency. If you know how to use it. So say something happens to you and then the criminal drops a gun. If you don't have competence, you wouldn't know what to do with it. Mm. Yeah, you Yeah, you tussled. Now, you both you and him are looking at the gun now. Yeah. Unless you don't have competence. You yeah. don't know what this thing is. Mm, 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 mm. And you don't know how to use it. Yeah, it's like trying to get away from a murder scene and there's a car, there's keys, but you're like, I don't know how to drive. Oh, yeah. If I knew, I would be out of here. Yeah. So, one, two, so that's, that's the second part of it. Thirdly, I'm like, if you love your life, if you love your possessions, which is not a reason to protect them by killing someone, let me just put it out there because it's part of the training. And then if you have a family or you have a spouse or you have a partner, do you, at a point of a break-in, is pressing the panic button or calling 10 your last resort when? Mm. Is it your savior? 
Like, oh, guys, shh, I can hear them in the passage. Your daughter is in the other room. Like, mm. your thing when is to say, can you dial quickly 10 triple one? Let's call the police. Is that, is that, is, I mean, I'm saying to people, is, if that's your first line of defense, you and your family are not making it out of that situation. Yeah, yeah true. Access America, la. there's no sheriff's department around the corner. No one's going to show up at your house within five minutes. No, Even no. ADT themselves, those arms respond, they're scared. Sometimes they wait to see what happens in there because they go. <laughs> <laughs> then you meet them after like, hey, look, they're actually blind, blind. You're like, no, try to say, nigga, more. So, you know, that's my, so, you know, that's my thing. So if, yeah. if you have a daughter, right? Yeah. How old is she? She's five. Okay, so you're driving with your daughter, you're going on a road trip, you're two hours out, and then she goes, Dad, I need the bathroom. Mm. Ne? At eight at night. You stop at a garage, ne? Mm. What do you do? I go with her. Yeah, ne? Yeah. But then I need to, if she, sometimes if she's old, Anyana, you can't go with her into the bathroom. I need you have to wait. For outside. now, I still go. Yeah, now you still can. Yeah. But I need to, the thing is now. She'll be eight one day, yeah. Yes. Then you can't go in there again. I need to, nah. Yeah, because now it's odd. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now you can't go in there again. Yeah. So now what are you doing? If if in case something happens to her in there where you don't know good when Zagalan, as soon as she walks in. Mm. Have you seen a security guard when in the garage before? Hey. Away. Yeah, so if something happens to your daughter who walks into a toilet in a garage, mm. in an unfamiliar place by the highway in Joyangena, because she needs the bathroom and you can't go with her. Mm. How would you one know? And if she does scream for help, what are you going to do? A, a, a barge in. And then? A, and then? Yeah. I go retrieve her and uh, no, so. fend off whatever see, you danger see, if, she's if, No, every, everyone has that theory in their mind because they've watched enough movies. Yeah, come on. This is my child we're talking about. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not saying you wouldn't do it. I'm saying what would you do in there? Fight. It. Retrieve my you daughter. Know, people watch too many movies when I go... This thing no. of, people even think they know how to throw a fist. <laughs> so you think you know, you would, people, people you have would watched too many. <laughs> no, no, people have watched too many shows. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is, in a real life, life-threatening situation, combat situation, the average person will freeze. Okay, yeah. So I'm saying, Guti Wayne, as so, you're a guy who loves to drink his orange juice, you work at a radio station, you have a good time with your friend in a podcast. In all of your life, where do you invest in self-defense here? Yeah. Mm, bro, true. So I'm saying that now we are again, the assailant has your daughter, has a knife or has a gun. We are, what are you going to do? Mm. I'm not trained. Yeah, you're not trained. You, first, you're going to panic. Because this person has the person that you love. And it now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and they're armed. That's the first thing that you're going to do. And, and those usually, crucial moments. Usually what we're trained is that you must be calm in a situation. Yes. Remember? Negotiate with the criminal. Yeah, mm. exactly. <laughs> Start calling him Abu, yeah, boss, boss, yeah, Abu. <laughs> no, no, I mean, man, that, please. That's, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really, that's what it's like. Let's say someone is like, no, be calm. It's almost like no one is trained to be like, oh, what do you do to fight back? It's so always if, be calm. So if 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 you're a guy, and I'm talking about black guys here, if you're a guy, and maybe it's like twice a month, you're not taking your woman to a shooting range, because you don't need a license to be in a shooting range as well, no? you know that, right? It's 150 yeah. for an hour in an yeah. indoor shooting range. And the shooting range in all suburbs. Yes. To rent a gun is like 350 rand. Buy ammo, a box of ammo, 50, 450 rand. And you sh get someone to teach you, a range master, to say, show, show us how to use this thing. If you're not doing that with your woman, instead of going to Virgin Active and running on the treadmill, uh -huh. and you're like, there, we are doing jujitsu, like, once a week, you and, you and me, ne, when I go learn. Or you're not even looking on YouTube how to throw a punch properly. My man. Do you understand how vulnerable you are and how in danger you've just put your daughter in? Bro. You are her last line of defense. It's irresponsible, even. It's so, very it's irresponsible as a parent. Yes, to not know to how not to defend. Have skills. Yes, but you know how to pay the bills. And you, sure. you know how to drive them so that they don't die. You put a seat belt, you buy a car seat. Mm. So you take all these precautions so that they don't die at your hands. You lock the doors before you sleep and yeah, you, yeah, you put yeah. petrol so you don't get stuck. But now they say, hey, daddy, I need the bathroom in the middle of. Dodgy McDodge, or even here in Santon. Now you are the guy waiting outside the bathroom. Five minutes goes past. And you don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening in there. Ah, yes, amen. So, Mina, that's my worry. Where I'm saying we are, we are not worried about the things that finish us. We're not worried about the people whose votes we're leaving in the hands of to select a government. Mm. We're not even worried about who that government is going to be. But if you ask me what was a trending topic last week, ah, oh, my man, I'm number one. Skomata! 
Isn't it sad that we know that? It is. Isn't it sad that we entertain by about Dr. Matthew Lani? We still call him doctor. <laughs> after all we know, after... After Bati Lolo Mutagana and Metric, he went to a special school. He made all of this up. He was beaten by security guards. He's putting people's lives in danger by giving them medication that he wasn't qualified to give. After all of that, what do you and I call him? Dr. Matthew. So in South Africa. Nah, but that's just a reference thing. To no, it's say, not. You know a what I'm Doctor is a about. title. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You see, now, now we're, dilu- so, we're, we're diluting the real problem. The real, here. Yeah. Yes. The, he called himself a doctor and he was found not to be one. Right? As we Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but he equal to Dr. Malinga and. No. Nah, that's different. You tried it, Ghost. That's different. <laughs> but, but the fact. But I, 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 I see so what that's you're That's the you're reasoning now I just have mean. for him. Like, okay, yes. he docs, he docs, it's just. So, Tina, we know those things. Tina, those things we know for a fact. But we don't know the real facts that affect us daily. So you know, that's 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 my word. That's my two cents to Mzansi. I don't know. When I saw, what are you worried about? No, 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 you're right. And as cutting us by, I think, oh, parents, we we think, you know, we go to Mugenza Gala so. I'm ill-equipped, number one. And with that thing you said, uh, and uh, Ghost Lady was like, if we all have guns, um, and then uh, society, too many guns. What I take from what you're saying is. Look at yourself. What's your position in society and what do you need the most? Risk assessment. If Yes, risk assessment. So if you're a black woman, you definitely need a gun. If you're an unemployed person, you know what I mean? You need some form of knowledge somewhere, See. somehow. You've got a phone you can learn with. Yes. Learn a lot of things from yes. YouTube to Wikipedia. There's so much free knowledge, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what you need, you know? If you need a gun, you need a gun. If you're a father, you need to be fit. And I, I know I'm, I'm victim to that as well of not being fit enough, of not knowing how to protect my daughter if anything were to happen. So I think we all need to assess ourselves and what do you need and start working on that and arming yourself, not with a gun, Mm -hmm. literally, but arm yourself to be well-equipped to meet whatever the world has to throw at you. So thank you for that, man. Thank you for that. That was beautiful, man. That's Gumnandi Mokona. Mm. It's beautiful, yeah, yeah. But also, Tim, some of us, I know what you're saying as platforms, we also do serve as an outlet as well, you of know, a, a yeah. form of entertainment. But once in a while, we need to, you know, look at things even deeper and assess them. Because we always echo the the, 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 the the message of go vote. How many times have I said that, you know? You say it all the time. I do, yeah. 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 I say it all the time. So, yeah. I, I'll rant to go, then go vote, guys. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we need to... The country's going, eh? And it's up to us to save it um, with the little we can. We have to. Nice one, Eugene. Mm. No, you know, you know what? I remember the thing when you talk about, you know, safety and just protecting yourself. Because yes. the when they just make that analogy of when... Um, a criminal is up, is coming to. They're already protected. They yeah. can't protect it. Yeah. So when are you, why are you not protected? Yeah, y- you know it's. Why are we letting those who are like bringing this harm towards to 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 you and like, but you don't have anything to save yourself or to protect yourself. Yeah, basically, like, the criminal yeah. cares more about their life than exactly. you do about yours. So mm-hmm. they would have never attempted to come into your house without a firearm. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But when into now, your house, yeah, when you yeah. live with these valuables surrounding you, yeah. But you said to yourself, "Ah, I'm in sharp. Insurance. No. Insurance. Insurance. Yeah. Insurance. Yeah. yeah. No. So when you look at these situations, even if even when I see those hijacked videos, I'm like, how many times do they search a black person? The hijacked what? The hijack videos, you know, when oh. they show CCTV footage of a, a person being hijacked. Okay. Or those ones that get to do joy rides now because mm. they want to withdraw your money. I'm like, how many of them, as they're taking them out the car, do they search them? Yeah, because as soon as they go to your pockets and see that your your phone is not there, your wallet, they take that, right? yeah. or if it's there, they take that. Mm. But other than that on your body, because they know, what are the chances? Yeah, what are the chances that now we're going to drive with you for three hours, putting you in the backseat, but we didn't search your whole body? That is true. Yeah, because we know... As I yeah, was all. Oh. I found you a thirty thousand. Doesn't yes. mind walking into the ice store. I want that one. Yeah. Yeah. Maruguti in does on protect. Nisho no me. Nisho no me. Say. Nisho no me. Say we two hundred rand. He woke up. Yeah, you're walking with your girl when la paya na gumna and dumba benga sanza. Then you're like, oh snap! Shoot, kasi kasi la in your world, Tina. If anyone wants to violate her. 
Guys, we're so yeah, fine. There's nothing right. you can do. Black Studios, they're shooting every week. Marubano was up to wool. I like to was up to wool. It's crazy, isn't it? Dude. That the criminals are doing what people who have a lot to lose should be doing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they know how to shoot. They know how oh. to... But, you know, we're like, yeah. So, Mina, that's what I picked up from that interview. I was like, I wish... I wish wow, all man. those all those middle class people sitting comfortably in their yeah in their houses in Bryanston wherever and yeah. they're finding this entertaining. I wish they could just understand what they've created with their middle class lifestyle and not caring. Mm. They've made a million millions and millions of these people, and unfortunately for us and I include myself, they don't have a talent. They don't sing. They don't have an incentive to live that life. Oh. But now, banengi, because what proved it? In 24 hours or in 48 hours, ne? one million people said, I yes them. Bro. Yamvuma. Mm. Gigs on gigs. We want to see this person. Yeah. Because it's... we've created enough of those people with tattoos and no shirts on and no and no hope. They want to hear him, they want to see him. And, and then he after was that, doing that, doing that kind of living that life of crime. Yes. Because it's not just as much as he may say, no, guys, um, stay away from um, yeah. Yeah. crime and all of that. Yeah. But how many people love him and they're actually still. Yeah. With they him. love him for that. They love him for that. Yeah, but. Someone That's probably Danny, got um, like motivated and like, yeah, I know, I must live this life of crime. You see, mm. if it can one day maybe make me like him. Mm. Hey, so, matter when you guys said freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> but we no, expected that the, you know? the tune was wrong the, the, the tune song. was wrong yeah that was not, not even on any song. beat even on any beat that would have been that's his style that's his thing that's his style yeah yeah, yeah that's his thing people do you know his songs love yeah yeah you remember I even asked him because on, on one of his songs the show me hmm. um, he said he, he, and I asked him I used oh. to believe you're gonna go to hell were you worried know, about his soul with all the then? great things with all the great things <laughs> you've done now <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I heard some of his music um, when I found out that he's coming through, and uh, I, ch I checked it out. Only when you found out he was coming through. Yeah, it's not typically something uh, I would bump. What do you, you know? typically? Just like I don't from? typically listen to an A Reese. I don't typically mm -hmm. listen to Nasty C. You know? What do you listen to? I listen to weird stuff, man. Right now, I'm listening to Muso Koza. Um, it's Ifale Lamkono. His latest album. That's what I'm listening to. So um, Musa Koza is the one who did the musical score, yeah, Shaga. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You see that? The... <laughs> yeah, that's Musa <laughs> Koza. Yeah. I'm a who. I'm a who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's him. Ngati is always in pain. Hmm. Yes. Ngati is always uh, in, in pain. and But he's very good. Yeah. He's brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant vocalist. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I listen to a wide range of music. You know, not just I'm a piano. I listen to a whole host of stuff. So... What what do you what do you think is the one thing that uh, people that watch the podcast that are your fans don't know about you? An interview, man. <laughs> Yo, angas. Oh, nalimpa. I'm 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 nalimpa. Nalimpa. Anxiety. I want to pass anxiety. Nalimpa. Anxiety. Actually, I don't know. It's stems social from. anxiety. Social or just and, anxi and just generally. You know, very anxious, overthinking person, generally. You're a loner. Uh, that yeah, that too. And I'm I'm much of a loner, very much a loner. So I was listening yeah. to a, a business report, reporting. I won't name the hospital group mm. that they reported six percent increase in their share price over the last quarter because they invested ten years ago. They saw it coming in mental health facilities. Wow. Because they saw that we we're going here. So they mm. de-invested in beds of people being injured and being in there. Because obviously we drive fancy cars now. Injuries, yeah. And we take care of ourselves and we gym more. So they know that we're healthier. But here, can't gym for that. Bro. So they built more of those. And they are having the time of their life. Especially after the, COVID. Yes, the clientele is... Just the, the clientele is booming. So mind you... Catalyst, yeah. Yeah, so mind you... <clears throat> Anxiety. I'll stop it. What goes on? Because someone, I'm sure, has it, but they don't know that they have it. That's the pro. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah, for a smart guy like you, you didn't go get help. Oh, yeah, I'm going to talk to you. And then next thing, I'm going to talk to you. Oh, yeah, Pella, oh, yeah. No, but it's like it's not something that cripples me. You know what I mean? No. So then, how do you define it? Therapy. I just do therapy. How do you define it then? So what are they therapeutizing you for? Ah, just generally. It's not that specifically. It's just generally. You know, like it's therapy, man. So you're at the mechanic, but they're just looking at your car in general. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you're at the, but you're, but you're driving the, with a flat tire. You're at the mechanic and you're saying, hey, do I've got, today I've got a flat tire. Can we fix this flat tire? Yes. Today, it's this. So the Ile Moto, Ile Ino Pua Lapo, you know? No, but, but generally, I'm humble, you're Yeah, you see now, I'm getting worried about, because actually, I think last week was mental health. I just month. overthink about things, man, a, a lot. And it steals away and it from, cripples you. from me being. In the Happy. moment. It doesn't cripple me to the point that I can't function. Uh, to what you point know? does it cripple you, yeah? Like, let's say I'm saying, no, now it's your or you know you have a 12 o'clock appointment here to record. Yeah. Then it kicks in. No, 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 it's not like that. I don't have those kind of spells. No, I'm saying, not, like I'm not because of this. I'm saying, Jay, on its own. And then you're late for this thing that you care about. Because that thing kicked in and was triggered no, by something No, 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 it doesn't happen like so that. What is, so how so, does it happen? Yeah, he's a lento in a ghost. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. How does it manifest itself? How? Let me give it some thoughts and try remember a moment. Hello, Zozo. <laughs> it's never been this quiet when you enter here, right? How's it? She's, She's been, been here for, for long. I don't know, man. I'm generally just anxious and I'm just always not edgy, you know? It's difficult to pinpoint it, and I think it's maybe irresponsible as well that I haven't, because I don't maybe. want to. I don't want to make it a big. <clears throat> I, well, I want to. Sometimes you fear that when you know. get and when you know something, you make it, it overcomes you. Like you feel like well, I wanna, and I'm generalizing yeah, now, right? Absolutely. So I can't so much. Mm-hmm. Man, you're so who's chilla now, you would so you have no you're bored. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it's never been something that has has struck me to the point where maybe I can't get out of bed or there's no point to living. You know what I mean? So to what point does it strike you? That's what we want to know. Cause I know I know people who are famous and successful, doing very well personally, yeah. that suffer from anxiety and depression. And so now I wouldn't say I don't know if it's depression though. I don't I, I don't know because that's a big no, but, word also. Yeah, but also did I get the mistake that we and made. And I think all of us have anxiety ourselves. to some degree. No, yeah, but absolutely. Other, all of us, but other people, it's to the point where you need to see a professional. I don't think it's there yet. Yeah, I mean, I need where to I need to see a professional for it specifically. You know, I mean, as a friend, I want to know where, to what extent does it affect your life? Ah, uh, not too much. Yeah, you not too much. Too, what's not too much? I can't describe. I'll it. make it, I'll make an example for like for myself. I can't yeah. describe. When it. I say I'm feeling like very anxious and I've got that anxiety. You know, is when your David orders go through. It's when it? your David orders are going through. No, no, no. Yes, <laughs> I'm too prepared for those. Sorry, sorry. No, um, it's when the moments when you just feel like you're not doing enough. Like there's just. Then it's just that that anxiousness of like mm. there's something there's there's uh, yeah that you just you don't know if you've get if you have everything. Covered. Are you a procrastinator? Yes. So you see we're getting somewhere. Oh. <laughs> oh okay. So remember so, that. Or sometimes see, see <laughs> you want yeah you procrastinate, but you worry about mm, procrastinating and that you're not gonna get the shit done till you realize oh fuck, it's. One o'clock in yes. the morning. It's now. not even like in a, in a in a major way. No, no. Let me not say like a major. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm just. Why saying... does everyone keep reducing? Yeah. Everyone gives themselves a discount. Yeah, I'm driver. Yeah, right. Oh, right. I've I got to... a headset in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't get my <laughs> I'm not a major like like procrastinator. Like, cause I get I get. My okay, time. give us levels of your procrastination. Yeah, It'll be just yes, like, if I have to do something for someone, I'm going to make sure I'm going to get it done. So I maybe it's procrastinating in things for myself, yeah, which are not that major also. Okay. Yeah. So, right. but on that whole anxiousness is like, you're not just doing enough. And it's, 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 
goes back to maybe you're just judging yourself too much. You're expecting mm. too much of yourself and thinking, oh, I should have, I, I, I must do this or maybe I should study this. And it's like, mm. you're just maybe putting too much pressure on yourself, girl. You know what I mean? So it's that anxiety I, kind I, of I 100% get it. I think, Sol, you also nailed a little bit there when you said, Uti, you're an overthinker. Because remember that if you procrastinate, you're worried about something that you should be doing. So that's your first worry, something mm -hmm. that you should be doing. And then time runs out to do the thing that you should be doing. And now you're worried about the consequences of not doing the thing that you should have done. Mm -hmm. So you've basically made your worst fear a reality mm -hmm. by not doing anything about the thing that you're supposed to do in mm -hmm. the first place. And the fourth part of it is you're going to deal with the, you're going to live the consequence of the thing that you didn't do. Oh, yeah. So you worried about the thing, you worried about the consequence of not doing the thing. Now you're living. So your, your worry is valid. Yeah. So your anxiety never goes away. And if there's one category in Klambe, you were supposed to wash your sneakers, you're supposed to take your car for service, you were supposed... Now you've added, now you live in anxietyville. But only two types of people, I think, according to me, from what I've learned for myself and reading books, is procrastinators and perfectionists. Because perfectionists cripple themselves by thinking, oh, you're fine until I can get it right. I'll never do it. Ooh. I want to train to be the best samurai. And then if I can't be the best, I won't get some rest. <laughs> then they never get to do anything because you're like, hey, my man, fight a warrior or something. Wait <laughs> till I'm good enough. <laughs> and then there's other ones who are like... <laughs> <laughs> There's other ones who are going, I'm going to start tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Ah, tomorrow, guys. Yo, yo, I, tomorrow you'll catch me. Then tomorrow comes, 4 o'clock, nyakala, ne, guys. Oh. 4 o'clock, nyakala, guys. Have you seen, you have an appointment at 1, but then you're like, I'm going to shower at 9. Then 9.30. Okay, quarter mm. to 10, guys. <laughs> How long will it take me to get there? 40 minutes? Okay, yes, in ne? Mm, 11. Ah, 11, nyakala. <laughs> <laughs> ah, nailed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Oh. oh, is this why you were late? So no, I'm from a shoot. I'm oh, from a shoot. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So is this why you've been late all this time? <laughs> <laughs> That's the day late. It's all as part of all as powers and crackers here. Now I was at another shoot. I told Dudu even yes two days ago that I'll be at a shoot. So so it's those kind it's, it's those kind of things where and I, and I can't give a I can't give advice on that because I'm not a medical doctor. But I'm mm. saying Guti, at least if you get things done yeah. and then you know you you get to alleviate or eliminate all yeah, the stresses yeah, yeah. of the future. And I think when I've heard your story, I'm like, you, you are right sometimes to overthink and be worried. I mean, you pulled yourself up from a very bad situation mm -hmm. and here you are today. And I'm sure when you're living your life, you're like, this could happen to me again. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And that's anxiety because now you're living in the future. Mm. And the more you think about that future that doesn't exist, you'll make it happen. Bro, Eugene, yeah. you should be a life coach. Hey, man, and I'm trying to drink hot water. He is a life coach. What do you mean? Are yeah, you? But I, oh, yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, I, I, so in closing, Jeff Omina, I'm worried about the young black people registering to vote. 12 oh. million unregistered. Unregistered. Mm. 10 million ANC. While, while, while the IEC has budget cuts. 13, 13 million. 13 million, million unregistered yes. young people. I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried about. That could change South Africa. A whole lot. They just voted. Each and every one of them. I'm worried about, we don't know out of the four major political parties who might end up as our president. Mm. And in all four of them, I mean, I don't have confidence. What for, happened to Umusi? For now? For now? Did Umusi butcher launching his party? He butchered it. He butchered. And, but about the ends in Jan? Yeah? No, it's not there. It's not like... Gosh, we don't know it. I saw it's not Yes, it's Busa the name. Like, we don't know what's going on in the ranks, who's there, what is it? Because at first it was not a political party, then it became. But, yeah, it's 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 a problem. Thirdly, Sorry, go on. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no problem. Thirdly, I'm worried about black women not knowing any form of self-defense. Siaguma mm branchi -hmm. and Siaguma seminar about squad kings, your fundu squad. But when we're, we're not there at the jiu-jitsu and... Uh, and, and taekwondo trips, skills trips. and boxing and we're not there ranges. yeah and shooting range cheap cheap stuff eh? if you only knew how much it costs you'd be shocked yeah. so I'm saying we're not there so now that's my worry I'm worried about fathers and men who cannot defend their wives their, their partners their mothers their daughters their sons if they were ever to Even be met themselves. with and fathom violence they wouldn't know what to do so I'm, I'm worried about that so those are my worries and I'm worried about our mental health as, as black people especially black men. I'm, I'm just worried about us. I'm like, you know, we go through a lot, but we don't take care of what 
gets us to feel the way we are feeling and find solutions. And if if ever could give everyone a voucher, I would give them a voucher just to go somewhere and talk to someone and and make themselves feel better. And you know, I, th- I wish we would talk like this all the time as black men. We would have such a good time yeah. because we would learn so so much from each other. Mm. Yeah, as we I, have, man. Beautiful yeah, show, bro. Yes, Beautiful. Yeah, well, Thanks thank for, you for coming, having me. Uh, yes, 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 guys, <laughs> so reflect. I'll take everything home and reflect. Everything and you mean this? Why am I getting everything? Why can't I get? Yeah, cut, 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 cut. I think this corner not too much. Straight horse for life. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you, Saul. Thank you for having me, uh, Meg. I hope you're enjoying Miami there. Care, sure. Oh. <laughs> and we were and. We, <laughs> We came from, we are at studio, uh, Mashabella Studios. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you did it so beautifully last yeah. time. And guys, we're at David Mashabella Studios. Ne? And if you don't know the address, then it means you are never a guest. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yo. laughs> it's podcast at Mashabella Studios. Don't know about the address. You need 17 chartered flights to get here. Yo. <laughs> yeah. Hey, David Mashabella works hard, ne? Hmm? He works hard, that guy. Yo, bro, big time. Even works in his sleep, I'm sure. Yeah, he works. Okay, yeah, time shout out to David Mashabella. You did a lot for black, yeah. black oh, podcasting. Well bro. done, man. Yeah. Shout out, man. Shout, shout out, out. out. Prime Deva. King Dave. King Dave. King Dave. One and only. Great man, that one. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Thanks for having me, Saul. Thanks, thanks for coming, Ghosty, bro. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Fakey, Thank thanks for having me, Mr. Wamo. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I'm trying to find a fun. I'm trying to Imagine, imagine at, at your fiftieth, your kids are like, "Daddy, we'd like to play a video montage for you of all the things you've done in your life." This is a cookie. Can I No. Yo. We two stone your hands, pure bapala. Here lies a man who enjoyed. You're making the sound. Hey, tune in last few. The Porsche has few number plate there. He GP. Ah man, we are here. Peace. Bye. <laughs> Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves. What would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, itlesha, lefiki. Bungo yi, even when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.